Hello there viewers! Seeing how gaming is in a very interesting place right now, I decided why not just do retro videos reflecting on the past, because that's all that appears to be going right now. <clears throat> Nothing else seems to be relevant, so this video is going to be dedicated to my DS collection. I'm going to show it off to you and um, hopefully you enjoy it, so here we go. Now make note, these are all um, Australian PAL versions and they're quite rare because um, very popular and common are the European ones with the little 3 plus ratings or the 12 plus ratings or whatever, that, that, that shit. Um, the Australian ones are quite rare because they had low print runs and they actually were made for this territory. Um, so starting off we have Kirby uh, Squeak Squad. Very good um, little side-scrolling 2D um, platformer. Very fun. I love Kirby games and that's one of them. Um, next one is Kirby Mass Attack. Now this is another great Kirby game. We can split up into multiple little Kirby's and uh, spread all over and uh, then rejoin. It's actually got a very good concept and I really highly recommend this game if you can still find it. Uh, it's considerably rare in Australia but pretty common around the world. Um, Professor Layton, The Last Spectre. Now I do like Professor Layton games, they're actually very entertaining. Um, and this is one that I played considerably. Um, great game, uh, if you like your detective. Um, you know, touchscreen, puzzle sort of games. It's really, really fun. Now, um, here are two others. I actually keep these ones. These are sealed. I don't know why. This is the Game & Watch collection. This is only if you gathered a number of points. You send in through to Nintendo and they send you a fucking, you know, sealed game. Which was considerably nice, you know. So, um, taking a look at that, um, that's, that's considerably rare because it's the, once again, the Australian release. You had to have been a collector in Australia to collect those number of points in Australia, which was not quite common. The US and Japan ones are quite common, but this is a exclusive one. So, um, very nice little game. Haven't played it because it's so rare. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is Bowser's Inside Story. I have two copies of this. This is a sealed copy. Um, I, I got a sealed copy really cheap. I think it was a a target or something closing down, so I went, fuck it, I'll buy it cheap. Bought it cheap, and still have a sealed copy. Very nice. All right. So, this is uh, Wario Where Touched, which is a very inappropriate title. This was one of the first uh, DS games I ever bought for my console, and um, as you can see there, it's... Um, uh, let's get a close up there. It's, it's a great little fun little mini game puzzles. Really, really entertaining shit. Uh, it's great. It's fucking... Um, I love it. I think it's great and, and I highly recommend it to anyone who um, has a DS. Um, uh, once again, uh, an early title, considerably rare. Um, yes, this is an amazing fucking game. I can't recommend this game enough. Now, if you have a DS, go out and find this game if you can. Okay, so uh, this is a game by Suda51. He's my favorite game director, as you probably know. He made No More Heroes and Killer7. Um, this is a game which basically concerns a... a guy who goes to an island to solve a mystery. Now, you have two screens and he also has basically uh, this assistant um, and it's a very surreal sort of puzzle game. This guy, um, I haven't played this game in years but I remember I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of like 2D, it's it's a 3D game, it's, it's an RPG. Very surrealist, very bizarre game. I recommend it if you can find it, that is. Um, all right, so New Super Mario Brothers. Enough said here. This is a classic title. This is a great game. Everyone should have this if they have a DS. It's a fucking essential title. Get it in your fucking collection. All right. Um, once again, Mario Kart. This is another fucking essential game you need in your fucking essential collection because this game is great. This is Mario Kart. What's everyone knows Mario Kart. Everyone, even grandma and grandpa know Mario Kart. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Once again, um, now you know how I hate. Fucking rareware, and with the shit they've become, this was a rare game that was actually considerably good because Rare actually got the rights back to their Nintendo game. Uh, I don't know what happened there. This is the last good rare game. You know what? It's a fucking remake because they can't do new games anymore because they're shit. But anyway, considerably get this game. It's very cool. All right, so moving along. Ah, yeah, you didn't think I had these many DS games? I do. Uh, Yoshi's Island uh, DS is another great little game. Um, a, a 2D uh, side scroller uh, where you play as baby Mario. Um, yeah, there you go. I'll show you the back. There you, go. there you go, kids. Look at that. Quality platforming, not the shit you play on your fucking phone. This is quality platforming. All right. This is a sport game. 
Mario 3 on 3 Hoops. Why the hell do I have this? Because it's a Mario game, and I basically have to have every single Mario game ever made. I do have every Mario game ever made. I'm only missing a few select ones, but anyway, that's another story. This is a uh, basically a sport game where you play as Mario. It's, it's fucking great. What more can I say? Um, it's It's got a whole bunch of mini games and sports, mainly basketball. Um, and if you can find it, it's worth getting. All right. Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. What was Rockstar thinking? This is an amazing game that flopped because it was made for a family-friendly console. But it's a great game. If you can get it, it's now on iOS consoles. It's now on fucking everything. It's, it's It was ported to PSP. If you can find it, please get this game. It's one of Rockstar's most underrated games. All right. Mario versus Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem. This is actually a puzzle game almost, and it's considerably fun. I'd recommend this game. Please find it. It's fucking great. Once again, better than your shit you play on your mindless iOS devices. This is a quality puzzle platform game, and it pretty much pays homage to the original. Alright, Mario... And Luigi, Partners in Time. This is a great platforming game. If you like, uh, no, sorry, not platforming. This is an RPG. What the fuck am I talking about? I love the Mario and Luigi RPG games. They're incredibly good. They're probably one of the best RPGs out there in terms of the quality of them. Um, I have all the Mario and Luigi RPGs. Um, so, you know, played them all. Uh, this is once again a very good game. If you can track it down, highly recommend it. It's, it's an epic RPG. It took me like 40 hours. Um... Alright, still going. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Ker Kirby Canvas Curse. Once again, another considerably rare title where you pretty much play as Kirby and you draw shit. It's fun. Get it. Um, Alright. Uh, now, much like March, this is the sequel to March of the Minis. This is March of the Minis 2. Uh, more of like an expansion of the last game. Once again, good, recommended, solid fun. There you go, kids. Alright, uh, this is a classic remake of a classic game. Um, this was the first game I got with my DS console back in 2000 and... Fuck, five, I don't know, I lost track of time. That was when gaming was actually good. Um, as you can see there, it's a considerably fun little title which remakes the classic, but it has actually added in some new elements, so yeah, definitely worth considering. Um, uh, Zelda Phantom Hourglass, this is a very good game, once again. Uh, this was a great... Return to the top-down Zelda fun, but it was 3D. It was a combination of both. Highly recommended. All right. Two more Professor Layton games. This is, um, uh, what was it? The Curse, uh, sorry, and the Curious Village and also Pandora's Box. Once again, I think I got these at bargain prices. I haven't played this one, but I played this one. Professor Layton's fucking great. There you go. Anyway. That's my DS collection. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I will be doing more. I will do GameCube. I will do PS2. I will do Xbox. Just request what you want next. I'm more than happy to do a lovely little rant like this, like I used to do, because game reviewing is in the fucking shitter right now. But anyway, hope you enjoyed.